so now uh, we gonna calculate the ph of the mixture of strong acid and weak acid whenever we are mixing on a strong acid a strong acid with a weak acid so uh, what we gonna uh, do in that case so we know that uh, when we are mixing an a strong acid let's say hcl with the uh, weak acid means acetic acid so here common ion is both are releasing h plus which is a common so here uh, at the common ion effect common ion effect will be observed means uh, for a weak acid degree of dissociation alpha will decrease so k would be directly write like a c alpha square upon 1 minus alpha for weak acid can we write this no we can't write this because uh, the h plus that is not actually c alpha the h plus is not actually c alpha the h plus is coming from hcl so actually k we could write as concentration of h plus into a minus upon concentration of h a so uh, we can't write it as a c alpha this hcl is not a c alpha uh, the h plus is not c alpha the h plus is the h plus which is which is coming from hcl <clears throat> so in that case we have to take some particular assumptions now assumptions involves are what are the assumptions that are being involved so first of all common ion what is the common ion here H plus will be produced only because of a strong acid and contribution of weak acid will be so H plus that has been coming from weak acid, we have to neglect that. So first of that assumption is, so all the H plus that we are using in Ka or in the container that all are coming from the strong acid. We are neglecting whatever the H plus is coming from a weak acid. Now in, what is the second assumption? In the presence of strong acid dissociation of weak acid is almost in presence of a strong acid dissociation of weak acid is almost negligible we are not considering the take part that weak acid is dissociating uh, uh, common ion effect has been increased that much. So uh, all the H plus that is coming, that is the H plus from the strong acid. So uh, now initially H A. So H A initial. How much H A was initially equals to H A at equilibrium. So A minus comes out to be C alpha. So all the H plus was initially that same the H plus or we can say uh, the H plus uh, now we can say uh, initially uh, here we are using the uh, H plus at equilibrium so the all H plus is coming out to be initially was at the, at the H plus at equilibrium right so now uh, let's uh, do some problems uh, regarding that so first example calculate H plus acetate and concentration alpha pH of a uh, solution containing 0 0.1 molar acetic acid its K is given 10 to the power minus 5 and with it has been mixed with 0 0.1 molar HCl 
So again, as I always say, uh, pause the video and try by your own. So let's start. Now H plus is 0.1. We know that all the H plus uh, that are is coming from a strong acid. So pH will simply be 1. So concentration of OH minus is 10 to the power minus 4, uh, 14 KW by uh, 1. That is 10 to the power minus 13. So K is acetate ion divided by H plus upon CH3COO acetic acid. So uh, K is uh, given uh, to us is 10 to the power minus 5 and we need to calculate the um, uh, acetate ion CSCO minus. So that will uh, C alpha. That will be uh, C alpha. H plus cannot be C alpha because H plus is coming from strong part. So that will be C, C 0 0.1 into alpha. And uh, the pH, uh, the H plus is 0 0.1 divided by what is the uh, acetate ion? Uh, acetic acid is uh, uh, that is given 0 0.1 molar. 0 0.1 molar. So alpha comes out to be 10 to the power minus 4. So we have calculated H plus. Uh, we have calculated acetate. Now uh, we have calculated the pH. Now what will be the alpha? We have also calculated the alpha. So uh, here in your mind that H plus is coming from a strong acid only. So this is the thing we need to uh, keep in mind. So now let's jump to another problem. Calculate pH of a solution Containing 0 0.1 molar H A. Its K is given 10 to the power minus 7 and 0 0.05 molar of H2SO4. So now uh, we have given K, we have given a concentration. Now the difference between this question and the previous one uh, that uh, the acid one is a di basic acid. So concentration of H plus, all the H plus will coming from a strong acid. A twice the amount of H2SO4 because one mole of H2SO4 will give two mole of H plus plus SO4 negative two. So two into 0 0.05. So it is a 0 0.1 molar. So pH turns out to be one molar. Now, uh, so pH is uh, calculated. Now if we uh, give the second part of the question, also calculate concentration of a negative if i ask you the second part of the question concentration of a negative we know k we go on the k comes out to be h plus into a minus obviously we are writing for a weak acid h a so h plus is a 0 0.1 molar a minus that is like a minus and what is the h a is oh, we have taken 0 0.1 molar so and k is 10 to the power minus 7. So A minus concentration then comes out to be 10 to the power minus 7. Now uh, a very good type of question uh, we are uh, taking an example that uh, how much H2SO4 in gram must be added to uh, if, I, if I try to understand the question then we give you a scratch of the question. Uh, we have 500 ml of 0 0.1 molar acetic acid which K is given. So we have to add in some H2SO4. Now the H2SO4 is some powder thing. So how much H2SO4 do we add in? That is alpha. Degree of dissociation must be reducing because of common end effect. So alpha changes by 200 times. You know alpha can't be increases by 200 times because whenever uh, there is uh, some Common and in fact, the alpha must reduce it. So alpha becomes uh, the alpha by 200. So this was the question. Very uh, good question. 
I'll encourage you to pause the video and try by your own. So let's start. W we know is concentration into molarity into volume. So concentration in let's see molarity is uh, molar mass sorry molar mass ninety eight into volume. Concentration into volume is what moles and moles into molecular masses uh, mass. So volume is one by two. Five hundred ml, right? So the mass of the let's say we have added the mass of H two S O four is forty nine C, right? We have added the uh, mass of forty nine C because ah uh, uh, the uh, volume we have added in which is the five hundred ml. So the concentration let's say is C, and molar mass is ninety eight. So uh, mass of H two S O four added is forty nine C. Now move further. We have added a zero point one molar acetic acid, whose K A was ten to power minus five into H two S O four, whose K A was ah uh, who was C molar, let's say, right? So K A is acetic C S three C O O minus into H plus divided by ah uh, C H three C O O H, right? So that is the K A. Now, uh, if you put all these values, K is ten to the power minus five. Uh, acetate ion concentration was zero point one, and the concentration of H plus all the concentration of H plus is coming from H two SO four. That is two C, right? Upon zero point one, so uh, C comes out to be uh, that is zero point one. So, ah, uh, first of all, ah, uh, here it is. So acetate ion should be ah uh, C alpha, right? Concentration of ah uh, C alpha. Ah, uh, we have written C, but we have ah uh, the means alpha. So there must be alpha. So how do we calculate alpha? Alpha initially, when we have not dissolved the H two S O four, the powder of H two S O four, that was initially like under root K A upon C that we have seen already. So what is under root K A upon C? K A was ten to the power minus five, and C was point one. So under root ten to the power minus five divided by zero point one, so that is coming out to be ten to the power minus four or ten to the power minus three. Now new alpha dash, alpha dash will be alpha by two hundred. So ten to the power minus two divided by two hundred. So ten to the power minus five equals to zero point one into ten to the power minus two by two hundred into two c upon zero point one. So the new c comes out to be zero point one. And W comes out to be a forty nine C that is four point nine gram. So we have added four point nine gram of H two O four to reduced is concentration the alpha by two hundred. So now let's understand the question. Five hundred ml of point one molar acid formic acid. This is called formic acid. Common name. So uh, we have uh, a formic acid container where uh, we have five hundred ml, five hundred ml of zero point one uh, molar. Formic acid. Its K was. Now we have one H two SO four ah zero point ah zero five molar H two SO four whose was fifteen hundred ml. We have mixed both of them. So what is the final pH of the solution? So we know. Ah, uh, let's ah uh, you will say like concentration of H plus was ah. Uh, uh, We ah uh, see that the total volume is ah uh, two liter. When you have uh, you ah uh, first, what will you do? You will be do like ah uh, uh, we have all the H plus is coming from H two S O four. Now we have mixed it with ah uh, a weak acid, so it will be only act as a water with respect to it. So we will be adding just volume. So ah uh, volume is like fifteen hundred from this five hundred ml from the overall volume is two liter, uh, and it will be give ah uh, like. 
टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मोलर एंड टू ऑफ द वन मोलर ऑफ एच टू फोर विल गिव टू मोलर ऑफ एच प्लस सो यू विल बी राइटिंग इट लाइक जीरो पॉइंट टू वॉट आई हैव डन एच प्लस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एच टू एस फोर सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मोलर एच टू एस फोर विल गिव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टू मोलर ऑफ एच प्लस राइट नाउ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एच प्लस इज लाइक दिस नॉट टू सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एच प्लस कमिंग आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट वन सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एच प्लस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट वन सो पी एच इवेंचुअली कम्स आउट टू बी वन बट दैट इज नॉट राइट वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी आर मिक्सिंग बोथ ऑफ दैम राइट सो वी आर वी मिक्सिंग बोथ ऑफ दैम सो इट विल एक्ट लाइक वॉटर बिकॉज ऑल द एच प्लस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एच टू सो नो वन नन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम अ फॉर्मिक that formic acid so it will act as a water for with respect to it so we and then when we are mixing both of them it will dilute h2so4 will dilute so it will dilute m1v1 equals to m2v2 so m1 was initially 0.05 v1 was 1500 m2 is uh, uh, like uh, we don't know and v2 we have to mix with here we have m1v1 now m2v2 and v2 is coming out to be addition of these two volume So that's coming out to be two thousand. So M two is coming out to be uh, fifteen upon four thousand. So now pH, the concentration of H plus, is double the amount of M two because M two is the concentration of H plus, H two is over. So two into fifteen upon four thousand. So that is coming out to be fifteen upon two thousand. So pH is negative log of fifteen. If I write it clearly. pH is negative log of fifteen upon two thousand. 